Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Borger and if you're new here, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. This is part two of the temple build, the library. And if you haven't seen part one, I'll put the link up here. We have a challenge because I don't think this is tall enough. I wanted to have two levels here in the library. And as you can see here, I have this round window and I don't want to cover that up with the roof. So we have a challenge ahead. We better get started. First, I need to make sure my board here from the army painter is totally square. And I will just use that with a ruler and an angle. The plan is to make a grid that is 10 by 10 with a wall surrounding it that is 10 millimeters thick. So I will need 10 inches by 10 inches plus 10 millimeters all around it. Mixing up imperial system and metric system at the same time is sometimes a bit difficult. But I just decided that one inch is 25 millimeters. It makes it a lot easier for me to do my calculations. I also mark up where the doors and windows are going to be to make it easier for me to make an overview of where things are going to be. I also marked up where some pillars are going to be to hold a platform, but later on they were irrelevant because I found a new solution. For the stonework on the bottom part of the walls, I will just mark up a big sheet of foam and make all the walls in one go. I cut out every other brick in each end of the walls so they will interact with each other. I also need to mark up the openings for the doors and cut them out. This starts to look like a puzzle. I really hope I can remember where everything will go. And in the heat of the battle I almost forgot to scorch all the lines between the tiles so they will get a beveled edge. I use a dull pencil for this. I'll use a hot glue gun to glue in all the walls. I know I should have used some PVA glue because hot glue isn't that good and it makes some pretty nasty overspills. But I'm a very impatient person so hot glue it is. The doors from the temple is a bit more elevated so I will need to build some stairs. I'll make the stairs the easy way. I will use a piece of foam that is 1 by 2 inches and on top of that a square that is 1 by 1 inch. I will bevel the edges with my dull pencil and glue them in with some PVA glue. I also cut up a piece of tiny foam to cover the underlying brick lines. I needed an elevated platform inside the library to hold all the bookshelves. I made it in one big piece and I needed some pillars and some balusters for the railing. All the red lines will be cut, the blue lines will be engraved. And then the laser cutter had to do some work. At the same time, I also cut out some windows and doors. I used some super glue to mount all the pillars. And there's a tiny hole in the baluster, which I put a two millimeter dowel through. This will be an awesome railing. I only use super glue to mount the baluster. The railing itself it just worked as a press fit. Let's see if it will fit inside the building. And it fits perfectly. I also 3D printed this spiral stair that I'm going to mount right here in the front of the platform. I almost forgot. I need to do a couple of cutouts for the windows. I will do some double framing just to make them a bit more massive because these windows will be mounted in the bottom part of the wall so they will stay there when I'm removing the roof. I'll just make room for them now and glue them in when everything is painted. I'll make the top part of the walls in 3mm foam core and in the same height as the wall, I will cut out some 10 by 10mm foam pieces and glue everything together with hot glue. I don't want the roof to cover up the round window in the temple, so I'm a bit limited in the angle of the slope for the roof, but 10 millimeters, that'll have to do. For the gables, I used the same technique as I did on the temple building. I used my laser cutter to mark up the shape of the gables. And these are very tiny. I used some hot glue to glue them in. I cut out some more 3mm foam core to support the roof. 
and used some hot glue on the inside to give it some more strength. On my laser cutter I also cut out an outer frame for the top part of the wall just to give it some more support and to hide a bad cut in the foam core. I also cut out a ton of roof shingles. This is the same design as I used on the first part of the temple. And I will use some Arlene's tacky glue to put them in. For the roof ridge, I will cut out a strip of crafting paper, one inch wide, and then I will cut it out in three quarters of an inch length and glue it in with some tacky glue. To bind everything together, I will use some mud podge mixed with black paint. This will make sure that all the shingles will stay in place and easier to paint. To give the top part of the wall some more texture, I will use this AK Concrete. This is a very fine grained texture and it looks perfect as Daco. I will prime the building with this ruin and cliffs from the Army Painter. This is a foam safe spray. The elevated deck that will go inside the library will be primed with some matte black from the Army Painter. Usually I would stain it when I build something in wood, but this one should end up look like a metal construction. And the same goes for the spiral stair. For the windows and frames I will give it some rough iron. The doors will be stained with some dark wood speed paint. This will make sure that you can still see the grains in the wood. For the floor tiles I will use some matte grey from the Army Painter. Some Hydra Turquoise for the roof. This is the same color as I used on the first part of the temple. While the roof is drying I will use this deep grey from the Army Painter Fanatic. This is the new paint from Army Painter and it is awesome. I'll just dry brush it on on the exterior. Now the roof is dry and I will use this blue tone also from the Army Painter to give it some more effect. This is the same procedure as I did in the first part of the temple. I want to make a more interesting look at the floor, so I use this dragon red to make a red path like a carpet on the floor. To give it some more edge I will use this greedy gold, one of the new metallics from the Army Painter. I want the spiral stair to have wooden steps, so I use this fur brown and give it a heavy dry brush. On top of that some burnished red speed paint. The rest of the spiral stair will have a metal look with this death metal. This is one of the new metal paints from the Army Painter Fanatics and this has an awesome look. I can just dry brush it on and I'll get the look that I want. I wanted to make a test fit of the platform and the spiral stair and I noticed that red carpet, it doesn't work for me. So I will have to make some changes. Fortunately, the new Army Painter Fanatic paints have a very good coverage, so I can just paint over with the same dragon red. And this worked a lot better. Now there will be room for the spiral stair. We also need to paint the platform. I will paint this the same way as the spiral stair. I'll use some fur brown on the platform. I will give it a heavy dry brush and use some burnished red speed paint on top of that. And finally, I will dry brush it with the death metal from the Army Painter. Then I will attach the spiral stair to the platform. The platform itself will be removable, so I can use this room in the future for other scenarios than the temple. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you might run into the one where I made these bookshelves. And I actually made them for this purpose. Some of them will be glued onto the platform and others will be used as scatter terrain in the ground floor. I'll use some tacky glue for the windows. Assembling the doors, I will use some eye hooks for door handles. I will just drill a tiny hole and screw in a tiny eye hook. On the other side of the door, I will use a chain link with some super glue. For the hinges, I glued in some strips of crafting paper, trimming off the axis and use some super glue to attach it to the frame. And then we have a door that can open and close. 
I will also attach the doors with some tacky glue. When I made the glass windows for the first part of the temple, I was not quite satisfied on how they turned out. I used some blue tape and it became very sticky and put some nasty stains on the back side of the windows. This time, on the other hand, I will use some packaging tape. I think this will work a bit better, but let's see how it turns out. I will actually also redo the windows from the first parts of the temple while I'm at it and make some better windows. I will use some UV resin, but first I will need to choose out some colors. I use some purple, yellow, red and green. And these colors are made for toning resin. It is an alcohol-based toner and it is very concentrated, so you will only need a few drops. I will use a pipette to put in all the colors in the holes of the windows. Just remember one thing, working with resin is very toxic, so wear a glove because it can give some nasty skin rashes if you get it on your skin. After filling in all the holes, I will hit it with a UV light, just to harden the surface. After that, I will put all the windows through my UV chamber for about 10 minutes. The chemical reaction in the windows made some bubbles, but most of them actually disappeared after the resin was hardened. And I think they turned out pretty good. They lost a bit of color, but it is okay. They are a lot more beautiful than the first windows I made. And they will press fit nicely into the frames. I don't even need some glue. And if I wanted to make some new in the future, they are pretty easy to remove and make some new ones. This is pretty much it. The library is done. And as you can see here, the roof is a bit flat, but I don't want it to cover this window. The roof is still only a cover for what's inside. And this is what is going to be exposed when these buildings are going in play. And as an old man once told me, it is not what's outside, it is what's inside that matters. Wise words. I was also a bit afraid of how the interior of this library would do in gameplay because it is a bit crowded. That'll be a test for the future. Let's have a look inside the library. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate you being here. And if you already haven't done it, please like, subscribe and maybe put a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. In part three, there will be something next to the library. And I just can't wait to get started building that. I will see you next week where I'm going to do a little more special video. Part three of this will be in two weeks. Goodbye for now.